Hello, and welcome back to another Bear Central review with me, Bear Elliot. So, guess what I saw? Do, 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 do. I saw Jurassic World. Okay, this was the free poster, by the way. Kind of cool. Yeah. All right. So, first, we're going to go ahead and get this out of the way. There will be spoilers. So, if you are not ready to see a spoiler or hear a spoiler, well, you're not going to see because you're just going to see me. But, hey, if you're not ready to hear any spoilers, do not watch this video until you go and see the movie. Because your little butts need to get off, off of YouTube and go see this movie. This is amazing. I freaking love it. We're getting out. We're going to do the score right now. Out of five paws, this is a five paw movie. It was incredible. I loved it. From the beginning to the end, this is absolutely the summer blockbuster. Unless Ant-Man somehow pulls it out that this is going to be better than this. I don't know how. Because this literally had everything. This was an incredible, incredible movie. From the directing to the acting, there was humor, there was horror, there was parts that just made you jump. It was just, it had everything. And the great thing that I absolutely loved about this, I did a lot of preparation for this movie. I watched all three of the first Jurassic Parks. That's Jurassic Park, then Lost World, then Jurassic Park 3. The great thing is the two, Jura Lost World and Jurassic Park 3, don't just, just pretend that they don't exist. They don't exist in this movie. You only really need to see Jurassic Park to be able to really enjoy this because there's elements from that movie that reappear in this one, in Jurassic World. Okay, basic synopsis of this. Flash forward from Jurassic Park 22 years later. Jurassic World has been in existence as a major theme park in the world. Think Disney World with live dinosaurs, but it's gone on such a huge level. It felt very much like I was back at Disney World, but with dinosaurs. Um, sorry, Animal Kingdom. You didn't come close to this kind of dinosaur experience. It takes place in the exact same island in Costa Rica that Jurassic Park was originally built on. 22 years later, this is where the story takes place. The park has been in existence for 10 years. Characters. Okay. Sorry. Nose is itching. Somebody's talking about me. Is that what they talk about? I don't know. But my nose is itching. Because I'm just so excited. That's probably it. So, first character that I want to get out of the way is Claire. Claire is the basic GM of Jurassic World. She has, or she runs this. Very pristine, wears white, has stilettos, and is just a powerful woman. Very strong, very awesome. She comes off very cold at the beginning. And it's so, it speaks a lot for Bryce Dallas Howard, her portrayal of this character, because she could really be a, uh, a real witch with a B. But she also shows a lot of vulnerability. There, it starts out with her introduction of her, like, introducing a major corporation. <laughs> Lots of product placements in this movie. Sorry, I was itching again. I, I want to keep going because I don't want to stop. So... They, it starts out with that she is taking this major corporation around, I think it was Verizon or T-Mobile. It was a wireless um, company that she was taking around. And she shows her like practicing their names and wanting to get it right. And she's like, and, the, and when the, the elevator doors open, it's like, welcome to Jurassic World. And she's showing them around just being a very statuesque, very powerful businesswoman. Then our next character is going to be Owen. Owen, who's lovingly portrayed by Chris Pratt. Oh, boy. Boy, is there some eye candy for you girls and you gays. For this man, he is beautiful in this movie. Okay, Owen's character, Chris Pratt. Owen is, he was hired on to Jurassic World from the navies where he trained animals. He's an animal trainer. That's where you see him training the raptors. He is the raptor guru. Now, that whole training of the raptors, that plays into a sub-storyline that comes up later on in the movie. So, Owen, he's just your masculinity, his very strong personality. 
Well, him and Claire, you find out, they had one date. And Claire was so anal about the date that she actually planned it out to the minute. I like their chemistry. Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard had a lot of chemistry between the two of them. I thought they played off each other very well. You really felt that they've had history together. And that's what I liked about the two, the portrayal of those two. Okay, the next two main characters are the kids. We have Gray and Zach. Okay, I understand why the kids are there. Because there's a kind of like a throwback to the kids from the original Jurassic Park. They have nothing to do with those kids. But they're kind of are um, seeing the park through their, their eyes. They are the nephews to Claire. Now, their parents, sub-sub storyline, their parents are going, well, this was supposed to be a family vacation, but they are going through a divorce. They won't, don't want the kids there while they're going through a divorce, so they send the kids off to Jurassic World to hang out with Claire so that they don't have to be there. And the kids kind of got on my nerves up until a point. There are a lot of good humor that the kids bring and okay there's a lot of neat things about them being chased by the dinosaurs and that kind of thing but the kids kind of got on my nerves after a while I was like okay the kids are annoying but I got over it you got to have the kid element because then the kidlets that go see the movie can relate to the kidlets in the movie and blah 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 um yeah I, okay I can get that so here's the storyline in a nutshell Claire's company, um, InGen, is still in control, but InGen's become almost like a security element for Jurassic World. But InGen is still controlling, and they're still involved with the creation of the dinosaurs. So Jurassic Park is now showing, or Jurassic World, sorry, Jurassic World is now showing a little bit of decline in attendance so their brainiac idea is they're going to start mutating the dinosaurs and they create this dinosaur called the indominus rex now indominus rex is made up of a whole bunch of other dinosaurs and this just go flashes back to the the jurassic park of maybe you really shouldn't screw with nature at all well indominus rex is smart is huge and Things for its smell itself, and it, it's been contained. So the head of the company wants Claire to bring Owen in because he knows that Owen has had a very big success in training the Raptors, and he thinks that Owen can provide some insight into the Indominus Rex because the Indominus Rex it's eaten its its sibling, it has shown aggression. And he wants Owen's opinion of this. Owen, as soon as he see, hears about this thing, he's like, this, this is a bad, bad idea. So we already know that you have Claire who wants it because she knows that it's going to be great for the company. Owen who says, no, this is going to be a horrible idea. So you have that conflict between the two. Then, really, the crap hits the fan at this point. So the Indominus Rex, of course, gets out. And it's never been out, in, out of captivity. So it's out there, it's experiencing all these other dinosaurs, and it's establishing its dominance in it. And that's where you get the scene of them seeing the, I don't think they're brontosaurus, but the big humongous osaurus, the ones, and there's a really touching scene there that they they find one that's wounded and and so forth. And that was really cool because you really saw that Claire, that, that facade of her, her being a royal control freak, that's starting to shatter. And she's starting to understand that, you know, these are more than just, like, science projects. They're not just things, they're animals. And that was cool. I really liked that, because you saw in her performance for Bryce Dallas Howard, you saw that she, she really was transforming herself at that point. Now, flash forward or flash to the side to the kids. Now the kids are, they're kind of, they've run away from uh, Bryce's secretary. I should call her Claire because it's Claire, it's not Bryce. Claire's secretary is the one who's supposed to be watching over them. They run away from her and they, uh, they kind of get a little bit of trouble. But here's the really, the most outstanding scene that I absolutely just 
fell in love with. The kids stumble upon the original park, the original Jurassic Park. And you see them open up the doors. And at the end, you remember the the sign that fell. They, they see that and they find an old Jeep. And you even have a scene where they find the the uh, the night vision goggles. So there there's that um, immediate connection between these two movies uh, that is established. And I just, you had me at that point. I mean, the special effects were uh, outstanding. The use of the music for triggering it back when they walk in, you have, it's played really lightly. You hear the, the Jurassic Park theme. It was just beautifully shot. It was just gorgeous. So the kids find the original park. Claire and Owen find the original park. They get they get chased by the Indominus Rex, and everything leads to the pterodactyls and the flying dinosaurs to get released. And that's where you see this amazing scene where the pterodactyls take on are flying into Jurassic World and start picking people up, and and you find out what happened to the poor secretary. Not good. Not good. You don't want to be a secretary for Claire. You're it. Things will go bad, very, very bad, and that's where the the re, our scene takes from there to engine or engine. I, I think that's what it's called. Engine. I keep, yeah, engine. Um, you find out this whole subplot where this is the cool a coolness that the original Doctor uh, Harry Harry Chow. He's actually still around because you never saw what happened to him in the original Jurassic Park. Well, he's still working for the company and still playing with the dinosaurs and still doing the genetic stuff. Same actor that portrayed him in Jurassic Park plays him in Jurassic World. That's awesome because that's a great another connection to it. And you find out that he's been secretly helping with this military program because they want to militarize the raptors and send them into battle. And they see us a, a whole side business going on with that and that was an amazing connection that he's kind of this bad guy because in the original one he was a little bit more of a nice guy but he had this whole other agenda then the raptors they use them to go out and try to take down the Adominus rex and that does not go well and you find out all the little pieces that they've like spliced together to make this Adominus rex because that was a big old secret and let's just say the raptors uh, turn on them. Don't trust a raptor. No, no. No matter what, even if when you think the raptor is going to be nice to you, it ain't going to go good. So everything ends up back at Jurassic World. They're running from their lives from the raptors. They're running from their lives from the Indominus Rex. And Claire has this a wonderful idea after a lot of people have been evacuated at this point that she's like, open up the capture number nine or the containment number nine and that's where you get the t-rex coming into it and our t-rex is the hero and the t-rex comes out and he takes on Indominus rex and and owen who has this connection with one of the raptors in particular named blue that blue and him reconnect and then you have this amazing like team up between a raptor and the tyrannosaurus rex and taking on the Adominus Rex and this huge battle taken on. And then you have this other big, I can't remember this big humongous alligator looking thing that is in the water. It's the one that eats the great white shark, which that was a cool scene. I, I totally dug that. And then you got the end and you have a happy ending at the end. And <sighs> okay, this has been a really in-depth review. I told you there would be spoilers. Overall, go see this movie. You need to see this movie. I saw it in 3D and IMAX. It was spectacular. It was beautiful. It just it invigorated me. It just excited me. And I just cannot say enough that this movie is awesome. Go, go see it. Even if you wait a couple weeks because the crowds were packed when we saw this. But it's so good. Five paws five paws you still have steven spielberg producing this uh the movie so you have again that connection you it's just you felt like a little kid again and that's why we go to the movies to feel that escapism 
The comedy breaks were great. Um, the kids recaptured my interest in them with their little scene. And yeah, go see this movie. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I can't say enough. So stop watching me. Or watch me while you're at the movie theater. Go see it. So, so this has been part two for Jurassic World Weekend. I hope that you guys are having a great time. I'm having a great time just reliving Jurassic Park and all the amazingness. So until next time. Bye, couplets! I could count in the dark, I see you calling my name. I hear you shouting, hear you calling, but it's not the same. Every weapon you're throwing right into my back. Doesn't matter to me, cause I'm keeping my trick. Let me go. Let me go.